Hello friends, today we'll be performing the PCM modem experiment in digital communications. First, going to a bit of theory, pulse code modulation is a method used to digitally represent sampled analog signals. It is a standard form of digital audio in computers, compact disc, digital telephony and other digital audio applications. First, switch on the power supply. Then, connect the output of the generator block to the input of the ADC block. We also need to measure the frequency and amplitude of the signal. So, connect the signal to the probe. By pressing the measure button, you will get the amplitude and frequency. And note down this frequency and amplitude. It is around 1 kHz and the peak to peak voltage is around 3.52 volts. Next, we need to observe the PCM signal. The PCM signal can be obtained from the port present over here. Connect the other end to the DSO. You can observe the PCM waveform as follows. Now you can get a number of readings from this waveform. One of them is to find the bit rate of ADC. For that you need to find the smallest division of time that is TB. Use cursor of DSO for this purpose. Uh, the consecutive high waveform can be observed in a time interval of 2.20 NUS. Ideally, it should be of 2 NUS. Now, the PCM which you are using has a resolution of 8 bit. Therefore, the PCM word time TW would be of 16 NUS. The total bit rate of ADC is 1 upon TB which is equal to 500 kbps. Now here I have zoomed out the waveform. As you can observe, the time period for this much part is 125 newers. See, this is 1 upon our sampling frequency. The sampling frequency of the Castronica kit is 8 kHz. So 1 upon 8 kHz give us 125 newers. Now, we have utilized 16 newers among this much part of this 125 newers. Because of this, we can perform time division multiplexing and thus we can add few more channels. The total number of channels which this ADC can be utilized is one, uh, 125 divided by 16 US equal to 7 point something. So 7 channels could be sent simultaneously using TDM technology in this PCM. The next step is to finding the conversion time of ADC. For that, you have to use the two ports given on this board. This is the Stop of start of conversion SC and the end of conversion EOC. For this, I'll be using two probes and connecting them to this port. Now I'll be connecting one probe to SC, which is start of conversion. And the second probe to EOC, which is end of conversion. Now, this waveform indicates the start of conversion and this waveform indicates the stop of conversion. To find the conversion time, we need to overlap these two waveforms. Now, the conversion time is the point from the start of this yellow bar to the first blue bar. So, for that purpose, I will be using cursors. With this, I'm getting the conversion time delta t as 82 nu s, which is perfect. To observe the clock of ADC, connect the probe to the clock port present on the kit and ground. This is the clock signal of ADC. After observing the waveforms, you need to connect the TX of PCM, which is this port, to the RX of PCM kit which is this port. After establishing this connection,
connect the DAC output to the low pass filter. This is the DAC output and this is the low pass filter port. Now you need to observe the signal obtained from the low pass filter and compare it with the original signal. For comparing the recovered signal and the source signal, we will be using two probes. One probe will be connected to the output of low pass filter and another probe will be connected to the generation of our signal. As you can see, the above one is a source signal and second one is the signal obtained from a low pass filter after transmission and reception. The last waveform to be observed in the first part is a PCM TX latch OE and the PCM RX latch LE. Both the ports are present over here. The LE is present at this part, so attach one probe to this one and the OE is present on this port, so attach over here. As you can see, the both these waveforms are completely out of phase. Now we will be looking at the second part of the experiment which is the process of non-linear quantization. In the second part, we will be using the function generator given on the kit. So just observe the waveform obtained by the function generator and keep the frequency of the system minimum as possible. Now this is the waveform observed by the function generator. I am reducing the frequency to its minimum and obtain this is the minimum frequency possible by the kit. In this, in this experiment, we need to vary the voltage from 0 volt to 1 volt. So which can be done using the amplitude adjustment port. Now I will be connecting the function gen input of function generator to the input of ALO compressor. Now we need to observe the, both the waveform of function generator and a ALO compressor simultaneously. For this reason, I will be requiring two probes of DSO. One, I will be connecting to the ALO compressor output and ground and the other to our function generator. As you can see, this waveform is the waveform obtained by function generator and this waveform is the compressed waveform of a law compressor. Now if you press measure button, you can see that the input voltage which was previously 4.8 volt volt has been amplified or increased to 48.8 volts. a law compressor is basically used so that we could uh, minimize the errors in quantization and uh, help in improving the SNR of our whole circuit. In this, we need to plot a graph between input V peak in volt and output V peak in volt of ALO. For that reason, this will be our input which is 400 mini volt and for that the corresponding output is 31.2 volt. Now on our graph, we need to vary this and we plot a graph. You have to make sure that the change is between the input frequency is less than 1 volt. So wearing the pot, I'll measure two or three readings and with that and with the help of the readings, I'll plot the graph. We can observe in XY mode the non-linearity of the both waveforms. For that, coincide both the waveforms at origin. Then press display and format XY mode it was linear quantization then the graph would have been straight which is traveling on the first quadrant and third quadrant but as it is non-linear you can find an s like shape present in this when you plot the graph from the readings taken previously you will also find a similar waveform now this is all about pcm modem experiment thank you for watching